One of the features of the one-click screen on BetAngel is it's very customizable. You can do many different things and modify the way that the screen behaves. So any of these components on the screen can be moved around, very easy to do, and you can apply things like custom columns as well uh, to any of the work that you're attempting to do within the market. When you do a custom column you can edit and make it perform a whole range of different functions. It's an area that's, I think is underused and you should um, certainly have a play with it and just custom create buttons on this screen. It's very worthwhile. But one of the things that um, you can do also is we have two areas here, the one click and the manual bet. They're effectively similar screens, you can see that. So the two screens are basically modifications of the same core underlying screen. And uh, one of the areas that you can use this to your advantage to is to create additional tools on top of what you have already. And I'll go on to explain here. If I um, drag some of this uh, information away here, you can see what's happening is we're reducing the amount of data on the screen. You're thinking, what on earth is he doing? But you will see in a second this all makes sense. So I'm dragging everything away here including backing and lay stakes, make market and so on. And what I'm going to do is I'm left with just the advanced charting, the micro chart and the volume. And I'm going to sort by volume as well. So that means the horse that's being traded the most will be at the top of the micro charts and at the bottom it won't. In fact what I should do here, I've made a mistake, what I should do is add back in um, the name because uh, that's going to be important really isn't it? We need to know which uh, which horse that is if we're going to look at volume as well. So I've done that. I'm going to save this. I'm going to call this just micro charts sorted by volume. And that will now be available in this pick list. So I can flick back to this one or I can do just micro charts sorted by volume. And what I'm going to do is detach this using the undocking tool here and I'm going to shrink the screen and then pin it. <clears throat> so if I put this over here now and I bring up the ladder what I can actually do is keep an eye on which is the volume leader in the market which um, as the let me just shrink the ladder to another size and um, you can see the volume leader is obviously going to be the favorite because it's at such a short price in this market but you can also see here um, any other horses where significant volumes coming through but this allows you to have the charts open which you can then obviously center while you're trading but you can also um, have the ladder and the micro charts next to each other and give you more information available uh, at a short click I mean you can also bring up if you wanted to the market overview screen there's a lot more information on the market overview screen but you could shrink um, and manipulate the data on there or sort it by different areas if you want to to do that but if you don't want all of that information available and immediately in front of you then you can shrink it and have it on either the one click or the manual bet screen it's just another option within there and of course you know on the manual bet screen you can actually turn that into a one click screen if you wanted to so lots of flexibility there but a good way to summarize the market in a fairly sort of concise manner